Hey there, Shoopy Doodlers, and welcome to my New Look Fridays. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be making a book called How to Draw Scary Stuff. And on Fridays, I'm going to be featuring uh, some of the drawings from that book. Over the next few weeks, British public libraries will also be having the Summer Reading Challenge, which is called Creepy House. <laughs> and uh, go and read lots of books and you win prizes and stuff like that. Uh, but these uh, drawings are going to be part of that as well. So today we are going to draw this creepy castle, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it! So let's get drawing a creepy castle. And I'm going to have this um, kind of on an island in a lake. And it's going to kind of grow out. And there'll be kind of a level of battlements about there like that and then there'll be a kind of a, a kind of a hanging tower and then maybe another one over on the other side kind of like that and then this will be this this kind of weird strange shaped rock and uh, the battlements will go zigzag zigzag they're not zigzag they're um Square, 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 kind of like that. Then you're going to get a kind of a building growing out of that and make this a little bit wonky. It all needs to be a bit wonky. Um, and then come out at an angle like that and then up there and then we'll have little um, turrets, little kind of turret things growing out of it there. And here again, we're going to have battlements and another bit of building sticking out there and um, I think we probably want flagpoles here as well like that the, um, the the lake will be going off in the background like that maybe with some hills and then you're gonna get um, shadow down here shadow reflection now the, we're gonna assume that the, the moonlight is coming this way this is this is a nighttime scene you can put little weather vanes or something on the top of these turret towers and you can make them a little bit wiggly these lines if you want as well on the edges to give it that kind of crumbliness of an old castle now here, you really want to put in the battlement shapes like that. That will come to there, that will go there. This will come down there a bit and go crumbly lines. And again here, put the battlements in going all the way across. Now we could also just put a line across there and a line across like that. And here too, we could just have a, a line across there. Let's put these windows in, put them in jaunty angles. And here we could have a little, oh, we haven't put the battlements in there. Here we could have a little row of windows. Uh, I think we'd have a door there. And again, we could have a row of windows put that flagpole in. Now this is all silhouette remember so we can um, just put that in quite simply like that. I think we'll have a, these will these are kind of like towers but they're kind of hanging towers um, and we can put windows in like that. More jaunty angled windows and then we're going to want a big gate and maybe a little window for the guard to look out of. And here is the, the island. Maybe we could have a little boat moored up there. Let's put the lines in the background for the horizon. And I'm gonna have kind of trees in the background in the horizon. Erase all those pencil lines. Now the secret to this is that the moon is shining up here somewhere so the light is coming in down here and you're going to want highlights on these this side of the towers and also on this side of all the buildings and also the 
battlements will have highlights where the the light of the moon catches and that's what this line here is as well the lights that the moons that are catching on there as well and here are little kind of L shapes in your battlements and then that, this will be catching the light down here and this will too maybe a bit down under there as well which means the island can be really quite dark around this side and then it'll get lighter as it comes around and will be much lighter on this side but you can do the scribbliness to give it some kind of texture on the island some rocky kind of texture and then I'm going to fill all this in with marker pen and then let's colour in all these windows should have done this first really but if I'd have done this first then the colour wouldn't be getting dirty but never mind I think we can probably make the path yellow because the light is kind of shining down on there now what I'm going to do is have a big moon kind of behind there so I'm just scribbling in these trees and then these will kind of reflect in the water not quite so dark but here then you certainly will get a lot of reflection and then what I'm going to do is just Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of parallel lines. <laughs> and then maybe we can put a few bats flying around the place. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, why not go and have a look at another video, How to Draw a Haunted House? I'll take your chances with the mystery drawing. Either way, click the logo, make sure you're subscribed for new drawing videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then there's the Sunday Gallery Review too. And then go and see my vlog channel, Shoe Rain Life. In the meantime, you keep drawing, drawing, drawing. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.